Joe Scarborough said something on the Morning Joe that was really, really stupid, and some might say even sacrilegious. As a matter of fact, it was Joe Scarborough that said Christians were being uh, sacrilegious when they were using scripture, when they were hiding behind Jesus in their opposition to abortion. He said that Jesus never spoke on abortion. He said, you can go and look at all the red letters in the Bible and you will never hear Jesus speaking about abortion. Well, you never hear Jesus talking about pedophilia either. Is that is that okay to practice, Joe Scarborough? I don't think so. Here's the danger when people try to take their values, their uh, religious uh, philosophies, their theology, and try to push scripture, try to push biblical theology in their direction. It never works because you are supposed to be in submission to, to God, not vice versa. You can't call Christians out, people who are followers of the way, for not supporting abortion. You, the, the things that he said were so so ridiculous. We're supposed to take care of the poor, the helpless, the needy, but somehow abortion is okay. Somehow abortion is a woman's choice. Did Joe Scarborough read the red letters in the Bible and see where Jesus talked about murder? How we're not supposed to do that? <laughs> but you know what? Joe probably doesn't see it like that. And that's the problem. When we're talking about scripture, we need to approach it with a reverence. We need to uh, approach it with a humility. And to be on national TV and call Christians heretics because they believe in life, I think is a real problem. When you read the New Testament, it talks about life. It talks about life in abundance. It talks about eternal life. Life, 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 life. You're right, You're right uh, Joe. It doesn't talk about abortion. It doesn't talk about death. When we talk about right from wrong, we should do our very best to align it with, with God. If something is right, it's not going to violate the principles of God. But if something is wrong, it will violate the principles of God. And in this case, I think Joe Scarborough is getting that all mixed up. I think that the Bible, Old Testament and New Testament, I think that every culture in the world, to a certain degree, is able to tell right from wrong because it is that spirit of God, that 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 twinkle, that spark, that God implanted in us so that we can tell the difference between right and wrong. In every culture in the world, murder is wrong. In every culture in the world, sleeping with another man's wife is wrong. In every culture in the world, stealing is wrong. So there's that, there's that thing that everybody should be able to tell right from wrong. But in our culture, our conscience has been skewed and we are misusing and misappropriating scripture. I once again, caution Joe Scarborough, go back and read all of the red letters and also read everything that's surrounding it so you can try to grasp the nature of God. And once you do, I think you might come to the conclusion that murder, that killing a mother, killing her own child is probably wrong.